Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 6, and holy transformations. You get a transformation. You get a transformation. You get a transformation. Holy crap. There is just so much battle epicness going on in this wonderful episode. Let me tell you, the two shows I've watched, actually technically three shows I've watched this week have been pretty fire so far. Uh, I haven't watched Attack on Titan yet. That's still on the list to watch. I'll be watching that probably shortly after I make this video. And uh, I I'm on a high road right now. I'm way up here, so that better not disappoint. Because Yashihime, excellent. Demon Slayer, excellent. Everything just seems to be excellent this week coming out. This is the week of we're going to make like the best possible episodes that we can. Here you go. Here's everything we've got. So we start off with Tanjiro fighting Daki and it is just interesting. You know, Tanjiro looks like he is SOL. Um, he, everything is just going against him at this point in time. All he can really do is dodge her attacks, unfortunately. And then this guy decides to come out, and he was like, Hey, you two, stop fighting. Meanwhile, Daki is getting her full abilities back. So she actually has a little transformation right off the bat. The sashes that were kept in her meat locker where she was absorbing all of these humans have now come back into her body. Her appearance has changed. Her skin is now a pale white. Her hair uh, is all white with, like, green tips going on. And she is just a lot more powerful. She now has the ability to use her blood art. Uh, she can use all of these sashes at the same time. And they all can just beat the crap out of everything and everyone. And she literally just destroys that entire street. So, you know, it's like, it's like Main Street on the main drag. And she and uh, when this guy comes out and says, hey, you two need to get out of there. She's just like, yeah, screw you. We're going to just destroy everybody. Ends up cutting the dude's hand off. Cutting deep into Tanjiro's shoulder. And just wrecks a bunch of buildings, killing a bunch of people in the process. Um, and then Tanjiro just gets pissed. Like, super pissed. Like, you just see his facial expression change. He's got, like, a blank facial expression on his face. And she was like, look, you're ugly. I don't care about this anymore. I can feel a Hashira um, is around me. You know, Lord Muzin will be extremely happy that I'm able to kill them. And I'm done with this fight. And then, you know, Daki is trying to sprint off into the distance at supersonic speed. Uh, but Tanjiro catches up to her and literally rips off her freaking leg. And I was just like, wait, what just happened? What is going on with Tanjiro? And uh, long story short, Tanjiro is just super pissed at the, at the moment. And um, he is bringing the Hiroshire Kagura. And he is just wrecking Daki, like, super hard. His speed has increased, his power has increased, his sword is no longer dull. And he is just going at her um, with, basically, the abilities of a Hiroshira. Um, and she's like, how, what just happened? Like, like she, she is just flabbergasted that this person that seemed so weak, so helpless, uh, you know, somebody she was just going to kill and not even bother eating because he was ugly can just be super OP and now be on point with her. He actually gets to the point where he almost cuts her head off, uh, but she uses her sash uh, to make her neck extremely soft to the point where you can't cut through. It's like, uh, I, I don't know, cutting, trying to cut through um, like a piece of paper or something extremely flimsy. It'd be like an extremely thin piece of plastic where you try to cut it, and because it's so flimsy and it just bends and flexes, you can't get a good angle on it to cut through it. So he uh, ends up failing at cutting her neck off. Cutting her head off, I should say, rather. Uh, then they start, you know, fighting, um, and then we get an image of his brother, like a mental image of his brother, and he was like, Tanjiro, you need to breathe. Breathe. Breathe, and he breathes, and this entire time that Tanjiro was going super OP, he wasn't breathing. So he wasn't even using a breathing technique. Uh, he was doing his own thing, holding his breath, and somehow it was becoming extremely powerful. You know, his eyes ended up getting, like, bloodshot. Like, the blood was dripping down his eyes at one point in time. And uh, when his kid brother says breathe, he actually takes in a breath, and he's done. I mean, at this point, you know, he, he came close to killing an upper rank, uh, but it just wasn't there. 
And uh, he's on the ground breathing extremely hard. He's like, every breath hurts uh, my body extremely hard. And uh, this technique, you know, this new technique that he's using is just putting a massive strain on his body, his lungs, uh, everything. Um, and he's on the ground, and, Tandra, and Daki's like, you know what, I'm going to return the favor. You're trying to cut off my head, so I'm going to cut off your head. And then here comes freaking Nezuko with the OP soccer kick, literally kicks off half of Daki's head, and uh, she's not happy about that whatsoever. Uh, she has very powerful regenerative abilities and just regenerates in an instant. And uh, then we have a little clip with her kind of leaning on Muzin's lap. And he's saying, you know, kill Nezuko too. You know, she's similar to this other demon that I've been trying to kill. You need to kill her as well uh, because she is on the way. So it looks like Nezuko doesn't have a chance. You know, she got the upper hand for half a second with just the kick. Um, and then Daki immediately cuts off Nezuko's leg. There goes her arm. She actually cuts her in half, slams her into a building. And everybody's just like, oh crap. Nezuko is about to die. However, Nezuko is also super pissed because she sees people and injured people as her family. So when Daki went out of her way to kill all of these people, she sees it as, okay, Tanjiro just died. My brothers and sisters, my father and mother all just died. So she is very super pissed at Daki right now to the point where even though she hasn't consumed humans, she has super regenerative abilities, which is just kind of crazy. Um, you know, she gets bigger. She looks like a full-fledged adult now. You know, she's not like a 14-year-old anymore. And all these flower marks appear all over her body. And she's actually able to regenerate fairly fast. Um, and then I'll continue to keep up with Daki, you know, beating her down. And uh, it looks like it is Daki versus Nezuko pretty much at the end of it, this, and then that's kind of where the episode ends, leaving you on the edge of your seat wanting more. You're just like, holy crap, this is going to take a few minutes to process what happened. It's like, oh god, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this thing. And th this was just an excellent episode. The fighting, the choreography, you know, the regeneration, the transformations, everything you want in Demon Slayer episode that we got in the first season when we got to see Tanjiro fight is in this episode and it, it was just beautiful the entire time you know we talk, demon slayer is known for having beautiful artwork and it was definitely there the entire time along with a lot of brutality uh, as well and then we get to the preview uh where you know tengen and uh zenitsu and inosuke they're all going to come to the rescue to help out so uh you know his wives are like look you just go you know inosuke even mentions he was like hey that belt got away he was like i just saved all these people you should be praising me you know he's like yeah that's fine and all but uh um <clears throat> you know that belt disappeared meaning that that's going somewhere that's going to hurt more people, so we need to go. So Zenitsu is somehow still asleep, and I thought it was hilarious that Inosuke was, like, trying to wake him up, like, pry his eyes open and everything, and he just wasn't having it. Um, and he was like, yeah, whatever, you're better off asleep. So, uh, next episode, we're gonna see a, a you no know, another Hashira fight between a Hashira and an upper rank. Uh, and just by the way Tanjiro was handling this, uh, there is a distinctive power difference between upper rank six and upper rank three. I, I, I don't think they're really on the same class as each other because if you look at how Tanjiro is fighting, yes, you know, he got a transformation. He got a lot stronger. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you got to look at Rengoku. And Rengoku, I would say, you know, is still significantly stronger than Tanjiro, even in his present state. So, uh, I think Upper Daki's gonna have to die. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but she's waifu, she's thick, whatever. Yeah, but uh, she's also evil. She killed a bunch of people. Uh, so she's probably gonna be dead soon enough. Um, I don't know. It's probably not gonna be next episode. Uh, we have got a confirmation that we are getting 11 episodes. Yes, that sucks. That means we only have five episodes left. And then that's gonna be all she wrote for the season. Um, I think they did that because they were like, oh, we're going to rehash the movie into seven episodes and kind of include that in season two. Uh, so I'm hoping we don't have another three year gap, four year gap, whatever you want to call it between seasons. I'm hoping it's like a six monther because it's kind of unfair to the fans that you've made us wait that long. I understand you want the movie and all that, you know, that got a bunch of views and a crap ton of money. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we've been waiting on season two forever. 
and you only give us 11 episodes and you gave us 24 the first time 24 25 so a lot of people are disappointed in that regards no matter how delightful this episode was no matter how great this season is going to to become over the next five episodes or so this one is definitely getting a 10 out of 10. This is worth a rewatch because there's probably little subtle things you missed. The action was great. The transformations were great. Everything about this was great. What I think is going to happen next episode is I think it's just going to be pretty much a fighting episode. Uh, I think Tanjiro is pretty much down for the count. Uh, Nezuko is probably going to end up getting defeated. That's my guess. You know, you know, her, her abilities are only going to last so long. Um, and then we're going to have Tengen and Zenitsu and Inosuke show up and the three of them combined are probably going to be able to defeat her. At least that's my guess. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't. We don't know how powerful Tengen is at this point in time either. Um, you know, Zenitsu, he, we, he's gotten stronger. So is Inosuke. We haven't really seen their full capabilities either. And I think three against one, we're, we all know where this is going. Upper rank six is going to be dead soon. And then that's probably going to be where they end it. So it's probably just going to be fighting the next couple of episodes. Then we're probably going to end up getting, you know, like them back at the mansion, healing some lighthearted episodes, and then, you know, maybe some introductions uh, to what's going to happen for season three, or if they're going to give us another movie, because I'm assuming we're getting another movie, because uh, it's doing really well. I could definitely see us getting a second movie, probably in the works, or as I'm speaking. So, we'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Let me know what you want to see for future cartoon and anime related content. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.